Welcome back heroes to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. We have a brand new solo mode to play through and it's an extension to the Six Samurai which I am so excited about because I do love Six Sams. I was actually thinking about Six Sams the other day, thinking about when one of my friends actually got the deck when it was brand new and we were thinking, oh man, Six Samurai's so overpowered, so broken and now I just think, I mean they're still, they're fun. <laughs> they're just obviously not as broken as when they first came out but let's go for the scenario. Uh, not a big one, but still excited to play Six Sam. Alright, let's jump right into it. The Warriors of Yore. This is a story about when great Shogun Xian was a young man, became known as the warlord who virtually dominated the land. In the time of war and states, there were those who ran across the battlefield like shooting stars. They claimed victory after victory, and their country expanded its territory at a breakneck pace. The Shogun ruled the country and led its armies with great skill. Especially outstanding were the six warriors under his command. People called them the Six Samurai. Rumors of these mighty warriors and the Shogun they served spread among the neighboring countries. He stood in battle alongside the Six Samurai, and never faced defeat, yet he carried a small seed of worry. One day, he fell ill to a disease that infested his body. Still, the Shogun hid it from all but a few close associates and ruled the country vigorously and without rest. He continued to fight fiercely, as if shaken off the disease. I don't know, don't know when the Lord is resting. No one has ever seen the Shogun sleeping. As these jokes were uttered by the soldiers and the people, one day, the last straw broke on the camel's back. Just when he was preparing for a big battle, the Shogun fell ill and died an unexpected death. I cannot let other countries know of my father's death now. One of the six samurai and son of the Shogun was Xien. Xien kept his father's death under wraps and led the army into battle in his place. The target was a mountainous country located to this, east of the Castle of Mist. It was a castle that served as the enemy base. Terrain analysis, troop size and strategy, all of the above were calculated, and victory seemed assured. However, the enemy had seen right through Xien and his advances. Enemy troops in the trees on the mountainside all attacked Xien and the Six Samurai. The Six Samurai struggled to hold their own, but they faced an unexpectedly desperate battle. As the enemy soldiers attacked with increasing vigor, Xian finally ordered his troops to retreat. However, in that moment, there was a great disturbance in the line of command. After all, these were soldiers who had never lost a battle. The majority of them had no experience in retreating. Moreover, the confusion caused by the surprise attack and receiving orders from a different commander made matters worse. Morale was lowered as one by one, the soldiers were taken out. If this continues, they could be routed. That was when one of the six samurai, Shinai, who was alongside Xien, suddenly turned around. He then offered the words to Xien. Our unit will serve as the rear guard. The main unit must survive and return to the country at any cost. He was the strongest man among the six samurai, reserved but also the warrior Xien's late father trusted the most. Xien saw the determination in Shinai's eyes and once again he ordered the entire army to retreat. As Shinai watched Xien, he seemed to smile silently with approval. That, that was how the six samurai and Xien barely escaped to their country. But even as Xien's wounds from the war began to heal, not a single man from Shinai's unit ever returned. He had lost his father, who was the Shogun, and a soldier of the Six Samurai. For Xien and for the remaining Six Samurai, this battle was a bitter defeat that they would never forget. Alright, let's jump right into the next scenario then, shall we? Alright, scenario number two. So the loss of Xien's father, who was the Shogun, soon became known both nationally and internationally and distressed the citizens of the nation. For the other countries competing to claim supremacy, this was an opportunity they could not have wished for. A warlord from another country might invade at any time. How do they settle this mess? How should they fight in the future? Xien was deep in thought. And then, his father's confidant and the one appointed as his guardian, Xien's advisor, told him without hesitation. Now is the time for you to stand as the next Shogun. You must prove to the world that you will be the one to rule over the land. And let us not only win battles, let us raise a country that matches the heavenly world. To achieve this, it is essential to build a solid foundation. When you achieve this, you can call yourself the true master of the world. Xi'an's determination was renewed by these words. Using defeat as a springboard, he devised an array of strategies. The country's military and its national influence was enhanced, and they proceeded to invade countries to expand their territory. They devised a, sis a system to make it harder to be invaded and quickly the country stabilized itself. Meanwhile, Xi'an was also racking up victories in battle. When his smoke signal rose over the battlefield, 
The soldiers of other countries would tremble in fear. Woo! Alright. Now let's go into the practice duel. So I do wonder if this is going to be the same sort of uh, cards that we were using the first bit. Like, I'm just going to be like maybe newer ones. Because it's all looking pretty familiar, which I don't mind. Just like playing six Sam, man. Alright, so what do you want us to do? Right, so. Use your legendary six samurai monsters to win the duel during this turn. So summon Kageki. And then we can special summon. And we want to get this dude. Okay, and then special summon uh, Kaizen. So to deal with the opponent's set card, uh, get Sheehan. Nice. Like Sheehan, man. Just remember this card first came out. Oh, it was so annoying to deal, deal with. <laughs> Alright, that's battle phase. Attack 1 8. Oh. You activated a trap card, then we just negate it with Xi'an. And then we attack for 1 8 and win. Alright, easy peasy. Let's see if the actual duels are going to be easy. Alright, so on to the first duel. Let's go and do this. Oh, I'm excited, man. I do love using six samurai. Just so fun. Swarm the field. Negate some stuff. Ah, so good. I love going second as well. Oh, that's a lot of spell cards. All right. Okay, just... Oh, secret six samurai. I have not seen that before. That looks cool. And, oh, great. Another grandmaster. Right, uh, it's probably best to go Temple, Dojo, uh, go s Smoke Signal, not too sure who we want, it's, only, it's a level 4 or lower so I can't get Grandmaster. Hmm. So what's this new one do? So this card is destroyed by a battle or card effect. You can special summon one six sam monster from your deck, except secret six samurai. If exactly one six samurai monster you control, and no other cards will be destroyed by a card effect. You can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. So during your player's turn, when exactly one face up six samurai monster you control is targeted by a spell card. Nope, I think. Just go for this. I'm just going to set it, actually. Uh... Just going to summon it. And we can special summon this. And total 1-6 samurai monster you control. Special summon 1-6 samurai monster from your deck with the same attack but a different name. It's kind of good. I guess we go for this, and then we get this. That's what we wanted to do. Nice. And then uh, you can send this card to the grass with someone six samurai monster or shin effect monster from your main deck. So level is less than or equal to the number of counters. We got three. Uh, do I want to make this? I wonder if this. I don't think this would be a good idea. Let's go get this. This. Discard this. Hmm. I feel like probably one gateway. Gateway is always good. Activate gateway. So we can go. 
can remove Bushido counters from your field to activate the effects. Uh, target one Sheen of Monster in the graveyard, especially on that target. I think if we go for four, maybe. Actually, let's go activate effects. Send this. And we will get this dude. Nice. Don't want to go for this as well. I don't know if I should. Uh, I could maybe try this. I can pick where it all goes, so I'm gonna go. And add. What do I want to add to hand? I know this one I can get special summoned. Oh, this one. No, can I get. Oh, I've got the right six Sam to get it. I think I want to keep that one in the graveyard. I'll go. I'm gonna get this dude for later. That was just. Ooh, we can make some stuff. Flash just got a, just attack. Please don't have anything too scary. Oh, uh, just destroyed the end of the turn. That's fine. Replay, nice. And two one. Phase two. Mm. So I'm gonna hold off for now. I'm gonna keep my six M. I'm gonna try to get Sheehan out. The secret six samurai stuff looks really cool though. Not sure how it works. If I just summon this, probably should have got this one out because of the tuna, but we can activate effect. Might as well. <laughs> uh, let's see, so we've got six. I need. I can just make, oh, if I can just win, please don't have anything to stop me, 2-2, two, two. oh, fine, replay, <laughs> that was, that was not worth it for you, I just love 6 Sam. Like, I, I can find it. I, I know, I remember like the Six Sam structure deck came out. I bought it and just played Six Sam for a little bit. I would love to just like try and find it and just play some more Six Sam for a little bit. Because I haven't played them in years. Let's do the last scenario. And then we've got two more duels left. So this story is going to conclude. So after some time, Xi'an of the Six Samurai inherited his father's position. Began calling himself Great Shogun Xi'an. Alongside him stood the newly appointed Six Samurai. They have sworn their absolute loyalty and fight as the backbone of the army. A samurai that fought together on the battlefield before he became shogun continued to be active in a variety of ways. Kageki was feared as the four-armed demon god with secondary arms that he can manipulate at will. He was long active on the battlefield but retired from the six samurai due to his injuries and went on to serve on the home front. Kaizen was a glorious swordsman that won many battles and was feared by the enemy due to rumors that he was able to cut through the soul. Upon his victory in the Imperial match, he was entrusted with the recruitment and cultivation of new candidates for the next generation of the Six Samurai. As Grand Master of the Six Samurai, his skill with the sword showed no signs of wavering, even at late into his years. The achievements of the newly forged Six Samurai, trained by said commander, spoke for themselves. Inchi was said to have fiercely charged into the enemy forces and fought like a rampaging wild boar. 
When Xi'an's advisor retired, Xi coordinated internal affairs and took over the role of advising Xi'an. He was appointed to the position of Chancellor, and even after leaving the battlefield, his fight continues. In warfare, and sometimes a secret agent, Mizuho took on the task of taking revenge through covert operations. She was bound to uh, Shinai as husband and wife. After his death, she decided to pursue the life of, of monkhood. But when dealing with those opposing a threat to Xi'an, she still conducts her assignments the same way she always did. Along the six samurai who once strove across the battlefield was Xi'an. Stood the new six samurai along with the next generation of vassals, Supported by the vassals, great shogun Xi'an continues to fight the supremacy and unification of the country. Love the little story about all like the uh, the samurai and how they fought and stuff. That's really cool. So we unlock the great shogun's rule. So let's go two more duels. Let's see what they're going to change with the decks. Hopefully they're still fun to play. Because I, I really feel like the gate duels are very hit or miss. They either change the deck and make it so much better and it's super fun, or they change it and it's so much worse. Oh, we've got heroics in here. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. They're off to a good start. Got Sheen right off the bat. Uh, it's a little scary, but let's we'll see what we can do. So I can special summon this, and I can summon this, special summon this, mm, can make something, oh okay. I feel like I want to make this dude. Just double checking, it's just uh, spells and traps, yeah. That's fine, so if I go... Excalibur! Nice, and we can activate the effect. Oh, both got to be detached. Ooh! Hmm... That is not a quick play, unfortunately, but we'll attack Xi'an. And that's annoying. I forgot you could do that. I think. If I. No matter what I do, you're just gonna negate it. So let's just end. Got 4,000 attacks at the end of your turn. So you ain't taking out Excalibur just yet. Just teleport. Okay, so you got nothing in your hand now. Take that back. You got Assault Mode Activate. Well, it has an Assault Mode in 6 Sam. You got Starlash, you can make Starlash Assault Mode. Oh, this is looking kind of scary, actually. Oh, Crimson. Oh, I, dude, I used to love Crimson Blader. Don't know what happened to it, but I had like a binder, maybe like 40, 50, um, the like tournament pack super rare Crimson Blader. I was just collecting them. At our local, someone pulled it. I was like, can I have that? And they're like, yeah, sure. All right, uh, so this card destroys the opponent's monster by balancing the graveyard opponent. Cannot no more, especially someone uh, level 5 or higher monsters their next turn. That's annoying. Alright, so let's do this. Okay, this bad boy. So it's just, yeah, special summon this. Then uh, you can add one heroic spell trap card from your deck to your hand. Yes. Not too short. We what we want right now, but double attack, but cannot attack your opponent directly. That's fine. 
Uh, ooh, ooh, I want, oh, this is risky. This is risky. I want to try this. So if I go summon you, activate your effect. Four thousand, activate this. Eight thousand. Battle. Yeah! And then two thousand finish you off. Woo! <laughs> Excalibur! Excalibur too good, man. Let's go. Eight thousand attack Excalibur. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> All right, let's see if this uh, this deck gets any better or any worse. Honestly, I love heroics. Never played them. Obviously, I've pulled on many of the cards in real life, and just I like the art and stuff. Oh, we got rank up magic, Zexal Force. And Arm Sage, okay. Uh, right. No idea what I'm supposed to do with some of this. So I feel like the first thing I should probably do is just... Six Sam United. Dojo. Summon this. Uh... So one six moments you can trust so us one six moments from your deck. Yeah, it's fine. Do that. So we can get this bad boy. Let's get that up. Uh you can send this card to the greatest of one six seven moments or share and effect monster from your main deck. So only two. I can make this bad boy. I don't like the fact I'm giving my opponent counters. Can you get rid of that? And then we'll get Gateway. On the bright side, like, it's likely that my opponent will give me stuff as well. So if I do four, and then we'll get, can I, I haven't normal summoned, have I? I'll get this bad boy. I can special summon it. So what can we make? Another one of those which I don't want to do, but I can go battle phase. That's fine. Oh, oh, I mean, actually... Not the worst. Main phase two. I think I just got to end. I mean, I don't like the fact it's got 10 counters on it. I feel like you're about to go in. Yeah, but it's not, not scary at all. You can do it again if you want. Fine. Still fine. <laughs> All the counters. <laughs> I mean, on the bright side, you're boosting me up. Oh, the, like, gooky cards. I do not like them. Draw two. The draw two? All that just to do that, okay. You've got like a dead hand or something? I feel like you should be doing a lot more. Okay. 
Uh, I guess I'll just have to kind of do this. I don't know what I should go for. I have no idea how this works. Probably should get something that I could actually summon. I'll just get this dude, I guess. The Utopia stuff I've never used. Uh, right, so I'm gonna try and get stuff. Two, three, four. And add to my hand, I'm gonna add I don't know, Grandmaster again. I have no idea what I was supposed to be doing. It's gonna get another one. <laughs> and if I get this bad boy, so I, I just go, I think, special summon. Special summon. Summon. Uh, ooh, we can actually just make Utopia. these like utopia cards I have no idea how it works I don't really want to go for it but I could probably just mm, do some damage here right feel like you ain't gonna do much TP 900 then we'll go main phase 2 let's make good old utopia Get the rank up magic, sure. And then we'll, I guess we'll use it. I played against some like Utopia decks where they got like... When I first started doing like the, the ranked Master stuff, I think it was like one of these bad boys and they were just doing big, big stuff to me. I did not, did not enjoy it. This one, I guess? Uh Okay, so you can detach one material from this card, equip one ZW monster from your deck or extract this card as if it were equipped by that monster's effect. Effect and cannot be negated once per turn while this card's equipped. You can type one monster on your opponent's control. Okay, so I'm gonna just activate this. Detach this. I feel like I remember people having this on it. I'm just going to end. I mean, it looks like it's, this is going well. You have a lot of cards in hand, but let's hope you don't do anything. Right, so you... No more summon that, you can special summon one monster from your hand. Negate its effects, and if you do... Okay, yeah, I'll stop the special summon, why not? So if we stop you special summoning, hopefully you can't do much. I think you can special summon six samurai. Yeah, that's good. And then we win, right? So I'll just uh, attack. Hey, okay. Utopia stuff seems very interesting. You know what? Kind of like it. Nice. Well, that is the uh, the new Six Samurai solo mode. Do love Six Sams. Honestly, would not mind more. <laughs> Ooh, sorry the video came a little bit late though today. Like, uh, I was too busy playing Sonic Frontiers, trying to get that finished before 
Then obviously uh, this came out, I was like, oh, I ain't got time to play this. I ain't got no time. But I'm glad I came. Let's go grab these gems. I haven't got many gems. I've got, what, 3,000? I want to make some new decks in this game, but uh, there is a lot to receive. Don't know what I, what I want to make. Sweet. All right. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.